The vision for Revalue is to really ensure that everybody is able to live in a healthy home and be able to live sustainably. My name is Mark Hall. I'm the CEO and founder of Revalue.io. We are energy efficiency project developers, mostly working in the residential space to retrofit buildings, removing home health hazards, and reducing energy costs. We really try to focus on communities that are disadvantaged, people that traditionally are too busy to access these type of resources. A lot of times these do end up being low to moderate income households. We are preparing communities for the transition to clean energy through those projects. We have an initial call with the homeowner to sort of find out what their situation is, what they're looking to do, and, and then we'll schedule an energy audit, the initial physical assessment to find out how much energy the home is using. The main pieces of equipment we use to test for the home health hazards are the infrared and the moisture meter. And then other things are really just sort of spot checking a lead sample sent out or an air sample sent out, you know, electrical hazards. A lot of them are around sealing up the envelope of the home to reduce pests, moisture, mold, those type of things that sort of contribute to overall deterioration. So these were some pictures from an infrared scan that we did just to kind of show you where you're lacking insulation and where that could be. After the homeowner receives their energy audit report, we'll review with whatever resources, grants, rebates they can qualify for to reduce that cost. And we go ahead and manage the whole process through selecting a contractor, doing the installation, and applying for the rebates. And so it's like a full service management and, and delivery. Our work is kind of split up 60-40 between doing work in folks' homes and then also preparing our local minority contractors to perform. We noticed that there was a lack of diversity in the construction industry. There's a lack of contractors to do that work, and so we also do job training, and they can actually learn how to work on the newer technology. Cypress Mandela is a 16-week pre-apprenticeship construction training program that focuses around green construction. We have our house that we kind of focus on here, so this would be a space for the water closet. They have to figure out how to change that out and then install the new ones. And obviously we have solar, so we do training in solar as well, which is part of our advanced curriculum. It's really something unique. A lot of our older housing stock, there's actually toxic conditions within the home. There was a report that just came out from Stanford. Their conclusion was that living with these older gas stoves is the health equivalent of living with secondhand smoke all the time. You know, you have a pilot, so you're always burning gas. You're always burning a chemical in your house 24-7. We also work with the Alameda County Asthma Start program. Being able to bring these programs together is literally reducing the amount of times that they're having to take their children to the emergency room. So making folks more comfortable and being able to impact folks' health in a positive way, that's been amazing. I've lived in this house. My mom, my parents lived in this house for a very long time, and I can't think of a time where we didn't have heat issues. The system in our house has mainly been gas, and learning about the emissions and the dangers of using it and the footprint, it really helps me to know that we'll be moving towards electricity and not relying so much on the gas. So, yes, I am really happy to be warm. We have to change things, and we have to change things very quickly. The quality of life for our communities leaves very much to be desired. I mean, there definitely needs to be more resources going to things we know we can fix. And this is something that we feel we can fix. We can fix the quality of people's homes. We can fix the lack of jobs. We can fix the lack of hope for the youth by showing a pathway. How can we make this an easier, smoother process that helps more people?